Hey you guys, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Quick Tip Tuesday. So I actually have been asked this quite a bit and recently quite a bit and kind of ultimate guide on liquid lips, how to wear them, especially for more aging lips and some of my favorite liquid lip formulas. So hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and let's get to it. Okay, so next to me I have probably, I don't know, 18 different liquid lipsticks. Um, they, I have tried a lot of formulas and by no means is this an exhaustive list of liquid lips. I mean, I haven't tried the Kylie Jenner ones. There's a lot that I haven't tried, but I've really, you know, given liquid lips a fair go. Um, the one thing to note is that liquid lips are something that is going to stay on your lips for a very long time. That is the point of them. Um, so they are not supposed to be hydrating. That is like the one big misconception I hear a lot. I want a lipstick or something that goes on my lips that's going to last a long time but not be drying. Those are just two opposite things that you can't really have. So I want to show you kind of my way of how I wear liquid lips still. Uh, it helps with the dryness factor and also really give you my recommendations on my favorite liquid lips. You see my little kitty back there? All right. So my step number one is to exfoliate your lips. That is of the utmost importance. You can use a little bit of olive oil and sugar and just give your lips a little bit of exfoliation. Obviously, you can use lip scrubs. There's a plethora of them out there. Bite Beauty makes one of my very favorite ones. Uh, Sarah Hap makes one. But using a little bit of olive oil, which I've already done, um, and then giving it a little bit of an exfoliation is really fantastic for the lips. Not only because the oil helps to hydrate the lips, but the sugar gets rid of dead skin. So you never want to put a liquid lip on a lip that has that's very very dry um, because it'll just show every crack and crease and it just will not be a cute look so for the second step is I recommend using a matte lip balm uh, obviously you can find a variety of these anywhere Walgreens your nearest drugstore anything so like chapstick obviously is a matte uh, you know chapstick but you don't want to use a chapstick like a Blistex or even um, Burt's Bees because they have a little bit of a shine to them and you want to minimize that as the second layer or as the first layer. My favorite one to use is the Agave Lip Balm by Bite. I absolutely love this. It's 100% food grade cosmetics. It's safe. So I put this on. And I usually will put this on before I start my makeup. So I, I'll, if I know that I'm going to be wearing a, a liquid lip, I'll put this on. I'll do the rest of my makeup, probably zhuzh my hair. So it's given my lips time to absorb this lip balm and become as hydrated as possible. Um, I use a matte lip balm, a, again, because I don't want to add any extra shine underneath the liquid lip because it's going to hinder how long that liquid lip is going to last. Um, and just so you know, just kind of a disclaimer, if you wear anything under your liquid lip like this lip balm, it's going to hinder the transfer proofness, I guess. So it's going to still be, you're still going to be able to transfer it and it's not going to last as long, but boy, is it going to feel so much better on your lips if you do it this way. Uh, all right. So pretend this is sat on my lips for probably about five, 10 minutes, and then I'll just blot it off. And then my, I have literally, like, look it. I have so many here. <laughs> look, like, I have so many. So every brand makes a liquid lip. I mean, we have liquid lips from Too Faced, uh, Smashbox, Makeup Forever, L'Oreal, Flower Beauty, Pixie Beauty, uh, Bite, Merle Norman, Wet n Wild, Jeffree Star. I mean, there are so many here that I am looking at. I mean, YSL, you know, everybody makes a liquid lip. So you might want to try your favorite formula with these tips. So my lips are feeling really hydrated and moisturized. And so what my favorite three go-to liquid lip brands are... I'll say three or four. Okay, so some of my other ones I really like are the Flower Beauty ones. They're fantastic. Great price point. The L'Oreal ones are absolutely amazing. So here's the Flower Beauty ones. Here is the L'Oreal. They come in a variety of colors. I absolutely love them. Merle Norman makes some of my very 
like my top five liquid lips. These are a little bit more silky, more kind of moussey than most, so they're gonna feel better and more comfortable on the skin. Um, and that is one of my absolute go-to liquid lips. So I'm gonna say my top four formulas is, and I also love the Wet n Wild ones. These are the liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild. They are fantastic as well. Um, but my top ones are the Merle Norman, and they are called uh, Liquid Lip Color. Of course, I love Jeffree Star. It's some of the best formula, and his brush is outstanding. It makes putting on liquid lips so easy. Uh, and then I love Smashbox. My favorite color by them is in oh, um, is in Stepping Out. Thank Fabulous, fabulous color. And then, of course, my tried and true. This is actually a liquid lip stain by YSL. Whenever I'm wearing this, you guys always ask me what it is. It's number seven, and I feel like it's been sold out online for a while. But um, this is a great liquid, li uh, liquid lip or lip stain. It feels more comfortable on the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use... I'm actually going to use the Merle Norman one. And this color is my favorite. It's called Happily Ever After. And I just apply it. And so these liquid lips don't necessarily dry down. They kind of stay moussey, but they will dry down. Any liquid lip that you use over a lip balm will take longer to dry down and will not be, like I said, transfer proof. But what we're talking about here is still being able to use a liquid lip, but have it be comfortable. Right now, this feels very comfortable on the lips. It is not drying or anything of that nature. So I'm a big fan of this. It's a great color. It doesn't show fine lines in the lips. Great, great formula. All right, so I'm going to try on now one that's a little bit more drying, and I'll show you over lip balm. So now we're going to go in with, let's go in with something, you know what, let's go in with the YSL stain, because this is one of the more drying formulas because it is a stain. All right. Look how pretty that color is. So this is one of those that looks like your lips, your natural lip tone. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that a second to kind of dry down. And then you can also use a lip liner, but liquid lips, if you have a problem with a lot of lipsticks feathering, this might be a better formula for you because they have a tendency obviously to be a lot drier. So they don't migrate up fine lines around the lips as much as a lipstick would or any kind of other silkier hydrating lip product might. But you are more than welcome to, after your lip is on, it's dried, to go over with a lip liner if you need some more definition. All right, so this is pretty much as dry as it's going to be. It'll dry down a little bit more, but look at the lips. See how hydrated they still are? And they still are matte. They don't have like a shimmer to them or a shine, um, and, but they feel really, really comfortable because we use that lip balm first. Now, throughout the day, when I, when, so when I go to work, absolutely, I want to make sure that I'm using a liquid lip because I don't necessarily want to touch up all day, um, but I will to touch it up. So you'll notice a couple hours later that starts to kind of have a film here, um, or it's trying to feel really dry, cracked and creased. So all you do is just take your lip balm one more time, apply it in the center of the lips, move it around, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm blot and then apply your liquid lip over that again and it's like a brand new lip. Um, so yeah, so I hope that these tips helped you out. I really appreciate it. I love when you guys ask me about topics to make videos for. It really inspires me and helps me make content that you want to see. And I'm going to be doing a secret giveaway in this video of a little bit of cosmetics. And um, so just comment below, make sure you're subscribed as normal, but we are doing a secret giveaway of cosmetics in this and I want to see who stays to the end. So comment below, subscribe, and I will um, let the winner know after the first 10 hours of this video is up and the video and the giveaway is closed. But again, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, you guys.